Hi, I'm Dr. Haley Perlis. Welcome to today's Mental Toughness Moment. Roger Federer gave the commencement address for Dartmouth just recently, and he said some great things, but I really want to point out something all top performers, anyone who has ambitions and goals, this discipline we all we all need to have. And Roger Federer obviously relates it to tennis, and the lesson is it's just a point. And he talks about how in the moment when he's playing tennis, the one point that obviously he's playing, in that moment needs to be the most important thing. Every ounce of effort has to be devoted to that one point. Nothing else matters but that one point. And then once that point has been played, win or lose, success or failure, it no longer matters. You must move on to the next point. And it's something that we all need to have in our lives, no matter what we're doing, sport, business, relationships, health, in the moment we all have tasks and it allows us to, and when we can focus on that task as if nothing else matters, when we're completely present, when we're completely devoted, when everything else is irrelevant, that is the best way to achieve your best performance. And then once that task is completed, once that moment has passed, win or lose, success or failure, it has to no longer matter. What only matters is the next task, the next goal, the next thought. So it's a tricky thing. It's very actually paradoxical. You know, on one hand, we got to pretend like this is the only thing that matters. And then once it's over, it doesn't matter at all. So it's definitely this story that we have to process in our minds and this belief that we have to have. And then it's a matter of, well, how do we go and do that? I'm a big believer in always having some type of goal, something to direct our minds direct our, help us regulate our emotions, direct our actions, have a plan um, that we're focused on in the moment. Now, I don't believe in a lot of different types of goal setting, but the process goal, the what's now goal is something that I do believe in. And when we're always having a goal to focus on in the moment, it allows us to move away from the past. The goal that once was, we've now completed it, success or failure, that goal is now in the past and we move on to the next step, the next goal. So in my mind, that's one of the ways that we can definitely adopt um, this story of in the moment, it's the only thing that matters. And then once that moment has passed, once that task goal has been completed, win or lose, it no longer matters because we're already moving on to the next goal, the next task. The other thing that I want to propose is actually emotional regulation. I feel that we are creatures, we are emotional creatures, often emotion trumps logic. So what we need to do is develop a process to be able to quickly and effectively vent our emotions, process our emotions, so that we can then move on to the next task more logically than emotionally. So how do you do that? Well, if we go into tennis, you know, tennis players have very you know, very small moments to move from one point to the next. So they develop a routine. They develop a reset routine or a recovery routine, however, which way you want to call it. But it is a routine that allows you to process what just happened and then kind of put a, you know, a period at the end of that task emotionally so that you can move on. So that might be a specific type of breath. That might be, you know, literally shaking it out with your body. That might be asking yourself, what went right? What can I do better? So you really want to have essentially a post-performance routine, but allows you to process things emotionally, vent what just happened emotionally so that you can, you know, you kind of put a book end to it, a period, and then that allows you to move on. So bringing it back, again, in Roger Federer's commencement address in Dartmouth, he talked about a big lesson of his. He called it, it's just about the point. And taking it to yours at life and my life, whatever task we're on, whatever goal we're on, in the moment, it has to mean everything. Nothing else matters. We are completely devoted to it. Everything else is irrelevant until that moment has passed. Win or lose, we have to be able to emotionally process it, emotionally vent it with a deep breath, 
with maybe a visual cue, with a physical action, with a processing mentally, what did I do right? What can I do better? But that is kind of a, you know, puts a bookend to that task and then it no longer matters. And then what's the second way to move on? Well, we have our next goal. We're always goal oriented. What's next? And then whatever is next, which is now, now we can devote all of our attention to that. And then once it's over, win or lose, move on to the next, move on to the next. And that's how top, that's how top performers continue to persevere, continue to be disciplined, continue to be focused. And eventually, if not all along the way, experience success. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Leave them in the space provided. Visit my website at drhaleyperlis.com or you can go and um, send me a message, ask me to create a video, all types of ways to communicate with me. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.